Hello, dear travelers. Today we'll go on a tour excursion from Guadalajara to the Pueblo Magico of Tequila. But before we get there, we will go on an artisan tequila distillery, a tequila field, a cantarito bar, and get some seafood. Watch until the end so we can tell you if it was worth it. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Today we are going to Tequila City. Finally, we're taking this tour. Yes, Tequila City is a magic town, so it's sure to be beautiful. And it's gonna be tequila tasting, so we're gonna have a lot of fun, guys. Yes. Let's enjoy this day with us. If you want to know how we found this tour, you can find the tour people right here in between the Catedral of Guadalajara and the Rotonda. Over there, you're gonna find people selling the tickets. They're gonna be saying tequila tours. Uh, the tickets are 500 pesos per person. We got it down to 450 each, so we got a good deal. It takes you there to tequila, and it brings you back. What the tour consists of is gonna take you to the tequila tasting. It's gonna take you to where they make the tequila and where they make the agave. Plus, they're gonna take you to a restaurant so you can go eat. The food is not included, but you can still eat there and it's going to take you to a tour around the city that's going to give you about an hour and a half or two hours of an hour and a half or two hours of free time so you can go around and enjoy the city that's the vibe on the bus we just got on and look at this music <laughs> Tequila, tequila. Here's a little bus that we just came with, and now this is our first stop. We arrived to the tequila place. Um, we're not in the city of tequila yet, but we're just gonna go to the place where a lot of companies make their tequila. So we're stopping the first stop and we're gonna show you how to make the tequila here. Wow, that's cool. Let's go lose some hair. I got here a tequila shot that I purchased. Let's go try some tequilas. Para la salud de todos, me chingo todo. Viva México, Viva México. This is the extract of the agave, and this is honey of the agave. This one's sweet. There's more. This is the powder of the agave. Dry milk taste. So right now we're learning the steps. They're telling us that this is the blue agave, how it starts. It grows for six to eight years. After you cut it, so they're gonna go here, cook for seven days. The next step, if it's in our personal way, they're gonna put the agave here and this thing is gonna roll to extract the agave. And if it's from a big industrial place, this is the industrial one, that's how they're gonna strike the agave. Gonna put it inside here and then it's gonna get still in this area here. And this is how you're gonna get the first step of the tequila, the white tequila. Hello! Hello everybody! <laughs> From our second stop. So it's this is second of the third. Second. So this is the canteritos. They have some huge drinks. The drinks start at 250 pesos for the smaller cup. For the individual one. They call it individual. 
but it's pretty big this one it's individual size and you can see it can get much larger so we we get her in a group and now we get in a large drink to share with everybody and We're on a second stop. Oh my god, guys, we're already drunk and this is another place that you can buy tequilas and drinks and it's so much fun. And mariachis. And mariachis, man. The hospitality of the Mexican people, they make us feel at home. We're here in a group and we're sharing everything. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This is why you should visit Mexico for the community, for the togetherness. This is amazing. We're having a good time. My muscles starting aching over here because I've been laughing so much with these people. It's beautiful. We've been sitting in restaurants for like a few hours at least. I think our uh, tour guide just uh, had too much fun and if he forgot that we need to go to uh, Tequila City. Now it's almost 6 p.m. Now we're gonna go ahead and see some tequila fields. Tequila field, we are here. <laughs> So the tequila can only be from blue agave and it has to be from one of the states in around the Jalisco area and some other states. So a few states only have the privilege to be making the tequila. So most of the tequila that you see in your neighborhood is mostly grown from Jalisco or some other couple of states. So and it takes six to eight years to be grown and over here the area that we are is Fields and fields and fields of blue agave. It's actually so beautiful. Look at this vibe. How do you like your tequila tour so far? Tequila, tequila, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How many tequilas you had? <laughs> I uh, I stopped counting after five. <laughs> after five, okay. You feel good? I feel great. You love it? Love it. I love it. Beautiful people, beautiful tequila. Welcome to tequila. We are in the town of tequila right now. It looks beautiful. We're gonna try to get as much as we can for you guys. But our excursion took a little too long. Uh, we got stuck in a restaurant. We we're having a great time. Beautiful yes, time. <laughs> with everybody, the Mexican people, they were they were there very welcoming. 
but the downside is that we're not gonna get to explore the town so much we have less than an hour to explore the town of tequila and this is one thing that every time we go to an uh, excursion that's gonna take you to a final destination you're not gonna have a lot of time to explore that destination. The reason is because you need to stop at the restaurants, you need to stop in the uh, gift shops. So basically what happens is like, if you really wanna explore the city as it is, you should come here just on your own, like take mm -hmm. a bus or rent a car or whatever it is, but just come and just walk without any time limit. So you can actually, feel the vibe you can actually feel the restaurants and the gift shops and the people around because when you have a time limit you feel it you cannot enjoy that much guys it's been an amazing day we want to thank you so much for being a part of it thank you so much for being here with us we had such an amazing day today it was so much fun all the tequila tastings all the places we've been in and the tequila town is amazing just if you have the opportunity to spend here longer than we did just do it because it looks so much fun right Jose? yeah that's a beautiful place. It's like a like kind of magic town. Yeah, that's what it is. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. And we'll see you on the next time.